Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow red leaf amaranth in lead pot 12 pod hydroponic system. I have grown this variety in aero garden harvest in the past and it worked out very well. Let's see how it will turn out in lead pot 12 pod system. I am using some off brand sponges that are compatible with aero garden, I do, lead pot and many more hydroponic systems. Please find the link to these sponges in the description below if you are interested. I always soak the sponges in hot water to kill any germs on the sponges and prevent any unknown issues. Now I am placing about 5 seeds in each pod and starting with all pods. That's it. The garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This garden comes with AB nutrition but I recently started hating the AB nutrition because it is getting spoiled so badly and so quickly. So I will use maxi grow nutrition throughout this grow cycle. It's day 7. The germination is pretty good. I always expect pretty good germination with amaranth and I see good germination this time as well. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. This system comes with AB nutrition, but this time instead of AB nutrition, I will use maxi grow nutrition throughout this grow cycle. Water capacity of this bowl is 6 liters, so I will start with 3 teaspoons of dry nutrients. Going forward, I will add half a teaspoon of nutrients for every 1 liter of water and refill. It's been 23 days. I see an interesting growing pattern. The plants in the center are doing really great. As the plants are going towards the edges, they are shorter and shorter. I am getting a strong feeling that the light on the edges is very weak compared to the light in the center. Let's see how this will turn out going forward. It's day 27. The amaranth in the center is coming very nice, but the amaranth on the edges is still pretty weak and coming very slow. I don't have any hopes on some of the pods, like this plant is too small. Yeah, not sure if this is even going to survive and uh, become a nice plant. Since the plants in the center are coming very strong and uh, getting overcrowded here. And I have no hope on this plant. I am going to move one of these plants to the edges and I will give up on this plant. This is going to be a little tricky but I am doing my best. Not bad actually. The root system is still manageable. I am just repositioning some of the pots to balance the growth. I just noticed that the water is pretty ugly here. Looks like the water movement is not that great. Wow, the water looks so dirty. I think I need to change the water once. Let's check the bowl closely. Wow. I never saw this kind of issue with any of my gardens so far. It looks like fungus or some kind of mold. It is all over the bowl. This is very sad and upsetting. I see the pump is running fine and the water is moving, but the water movement is not well enough for this bigger bowl. I really like the pump setup in Spider Farmer Hydroponic System. The pump is powerful enough to pump the water and I really like this T connector which move the water onto both sides. Anyways, I will dump this water, clean the bowl and start over with fresh water and nutrients. Alright, I just cleaned the bowl. Now it looks pretty clean. And here is the pump. It's supposed to work even better, but I don't see it is working so effectively. This could be the reason water is not moving well and creating all other issues. Day 34. 
Amaranth is coming very nice. Leaves are getting big and wide. It is almost ready to start harvesting. It's day 46. The amaranth has come very nice. The leaves are looking so beautiful with nice color gradients. There are wide and huge leaves. This is all really good. I don't see a lot of yield as I used to see with Aero Gardens, but it's not bad. There are a few plants that turned out very well, but a lot of plants are really small and they didn't grow that healthy. Look at this, it's really small. Anyways, it's time to start harvesting. When we harvest, it is always better to harvest the stems leaving one or two nodes at the bottom so that the plants will shoot out the side growth. Plants get really bushy and produce more greens as I cut the main stem. Alright, I am done harvesting all the stems. Now I am harvesting all the bigger leaves. It's day 61. Amaranth is ready for second harvest. It is coming so nice, super wide leaves and lots of amaranth. Nice color patterns, thick green and nice burgundy colors. So it's all going very well. Here they are after the harvest, they'll come back so quick. It's day 76. Amaranth is ready for another harvest. The leaves are still coming very solid. They are always green, fresh. They still maintain their color gradient with burgundy and green. They always look beautiful. So it's time to harvest them again. This journey is going to go a little longer and it is pretty routine from this point. Harvest the greens, plants come back nice with more leaves and repeat the cycle again and again. Overall, this experiment is pretty successful. As I showed earlier, I saw a few issues in this grow cycle but the overall results are pretty good. I still like this lead pot 12 pot system and I will continue to experiment with it. I will keep you posted with all my experiments, so please stay tuned. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.